In this tutorial video, we will see how to work efficiently in a production environment by offsetting port with the RouteCAD CADCAM software. Now, we can also offset a port in the CNC controller software, but it is more efficient to do it in the CADCAM software. The reason why is you can better uh, have an appreciation of what you are actually offsetting and it will also reduce the um, mistake and also you will be able to better make use of your uh, material that you're machining. In this example, we have a certain work area. This work area represent the total area that your CNC milling machine can actually machine. Now, we have a few ports on that work area. These ports have already been machined and are no longer on that sheet. So, basically, this is a sheet of a material that we use in a production environment and we might have several of the sheet. Now, we will see how with the RouteCAD CADCAM software, we can efficiently use the remaining material on that sheet to machine other port easily. So, the first thing to do is to save that sheet. Now, we have on that sheet two motor hold and we also have other parts. What we would like to do is to machine an additional motor hold on that sheet. And this is how we do it. The motor hold was already designed previously and it was al already saved. All we have to do is to merge it on that sheet. So we go to File, Merge, and we're going to merge that motor hold. We select to merge it after the last routing sequence. So we click No. Now, the motor hold has been positioned at the same area where the motor hold was initially created. But it is not good to put it there because there is another part over here that has already been machined. So this area has nothing in there and same as this, same as that. So what we want to do, we want to create an offset with the RouteCAD CADCAM software to put it at another location. So the G code of that will be moved at another location and the CNC controller will grab it at that other location and machine it. And because we're doing this in the CADCAM software, we can really decide to put it wherever we want. And since we are working in a production environment, we do not want to waste the good part of that sheet, which could be from quite an expensive material. So what we do, we click the left mouse button and we're going to move that motor hold at a location that has material that is not uh, that has not yet been machined. We could put it down there, we could put it up here, we could even put it over there if we wanted to. In this case, we will put it over here and we will click the left mouse button. Here we have it. The motor hold that we wanted has been offset to a new location where there is no was where there was no material there previously so the cnc will be able to go and machine it now 
we do not want to go and remachine all this port again. What we're going to do, we're going to save the stat sheet first. So that sheet is safe. So now we know that sheet one has already all of these things machined from it. And next time we use sheet one, we can use some other empty area to machine more motor hold or machine other port. Now we want to just machine this motor hold. We don't want to machine all of that again. So what we will do, we will erase the routing sequence we go to erase route and we're going to erase all of that over here so what we have done we basically remove from the routing sequence all of this part the only thing that's left is that new motor hole that we have just put there if we go to view display route arrow we can see that only this motor hold will be machine and none of that will be machine. The last thing is to export the G code. So we go to export G code for CNC meaning and we will export that motor hold. In this case, we call it, we're going to call it port number three. And we save it. We also save the G code port number three. Now what we have done, we have created a new motor hold at a location on an old sheet that had already many things machined from it. And we did that with the route cat cat cam software. We exported the G code in a file called port 3.nc. What we will do next is grab that G code with the RouteBot CNC controller and the RouteBot CNC controller will machine that port at that exact location that we want it. And if we want to make more motor hold, we just repeat the same process on that same sheet until there is no more room to machine on that sheet and in this case we will just use another sheet to keep on working. This is the most efficient way to work in a production environment and also this is the best way as far as to reduce the amount of error and also to maximize the usage of your material.